In this video, we're on page 16, and we're going to be translating real-life scenarios into algebraic equations, okay? Uh, we'll deal with the puzzle part of this later, but we're going to dive on in here for the first problem. And we're told that a set of eight dessert dishes costs $20. What was the cost of each dish? So for the goal of this worksheet, what we're going to do is we're going to write the equation together, which is a whole long list of possible equations over here. So first we're gonna write the equation for each problem, then we're gonna solve it, and we'll deal with the puzzle part later, okay? So for the first one, with those eight dishes, if we've got eight dishes, we don't know how much each one costs, and we know that they are $20 total, and again, the whole point of this is to eventually go on to then solve these in a second and figure out what X would equal, okay? But we'll do that shortly. All right, now we're going to look at the second one. We're just going to practice writing the equation from the problem. We have that Ben and Jerry together own 24 comic books. If Ben owns six, how many does Jerry own? So over here we have uh, that Ben and Jerry together own 24 comic books. We know that Ben here has six. We do not know how many Jerry has. And so this is going to be our equation for number two. Go ahead and write that down because the next step in the video is going to be to solve them shortly. All right. For number three, Hans Klaver sells vacuum cleaners. He gets to keep one eighth of his sales as a commission. Now, what we mean here by commission, folks, is that if you are in sales, if you sell a certain amount, you get to keep a certain percentage as commission, and that's an incentive to have you to sell more. The, the more you can sell, the more money that you earn in commission, okay? Now, he, uh, we don't know how much he's going to sell, but he can keep an eighth of that, and we want him to earn $1,000. So an eighth of some sold amount would earn him $1,000, and that's going to be the equation for number three. For number four, on a first down, a football team lost eight yards. So here's my losing eight yards. That was the first one, and then there's the second down, and after that, the team had an overall gain of 20 yards. So they lost eight. They're going to gain some. We don't know how much, and overall, it's a gain of 20 yards. So that's going to be the equation that we use to solve how many yards they must have gained on that second down to have an overall gain of 20 yards. All right, for number three, or sorry, for number five. After uh, she wrote a check for $240, May Bounce had a balance in her checking account of negative six. What was her balance before she wrote the check? So what we're saying is we don't know how much money she started out with, and then she wrote a check, which means she spent money for $240, and after that, she had a balance of negative $6. That means she has spent more money than she has. So we're gonna, in a second, we're going to solve to figure out how much did she start out with so that when she spent 240 she had spent too much. She spent $6 too much. All right, for number six, a bank of eight floodlights together uses 1,000 watts of power. How much power is used by each bulb? So for this one, we have eight floodlights. We don't know um, how much, excuse me, sorry, real quick. Sorry, I had to pause the video there. So anyways, we have eight floodlights. Uh, we don't know how much each power or each light bulb uses. And we have here that there's a thousand watts of power total. And so we're going to divide here both sides by eight in a second to figure out how much power is used by each light bulb. And for number seven, between noon and midnight, the temperature dropped 20 degrees. If the temperature was negative eight at midnight, what was the temperature at noon? So it was noon, this is where it starts, this is noon, and this is midnight. In between noon and midnight, we can see here that the temperature dropped 20 degrees. So it started out at noon, that's 12 o'clock in the afternoon, then it drops 20 degrees, and at midnight, the temperature is negative eight. So when we solve, we'll be able to see what the starting temperature was at noon. For number eight, if a strawberry pie is divided into six equal slices, each slice has 240 calories. We want to know how many calories are in the whole pie. So we have the pie, 
being divided into six equal slices, and each slice is worth 240 calories. So in a second, when we multiply both sides, we'll see how many calories there were originally in the entire pie. All right, for number nine, a chest was resting on the ocean floor a thousand feet below the surface. So notice if it's a thousand feet below the surface, it's at negative a thousand feet. It was lifted to the deck of the ship, which is eight feet above water. And we want to be able to solve right here to figure out how much was the chest lifted to get above deck or above water, eight feet above deck. And for the last one here, when all the kids who tried out for a little league were divided into teams of 20 players, there were exactly eight teams. So how many kids tried out? So we have all of the kids divided into 20 teams, or sorry, divided into teams of 20 players, and that gave us eight teams total. So now I'm going to actually go ahead and work from bottom to top. We're going to start with this one, and now we're just going to solve all of these equations, okay? So we had a bunch of kids divided into teams of 20 players. So to solve, we're going to multiply both sides here by 20 and see here that that cancels out, and we must have started out with 160 kids in the league. 160 kids in the league. So the way the puzzle worksheet works, y'all, is that for number 10, the x over 20 equals 8. That was equation letter, let's find it, x over 20 equals 8. Here it is, letter M. And so this was letter M, and the answer is 160. So down here, we're, we see the answer of 160. The answer to our equation is right here. And the equation we used to solve it was letter M. All right, now we're back up on number nine. And there, this was the one that had the chest resting on the ocean floor. Think of like a treasure chest. And so if it started at 1,000 feet below sea level, if we solve this, let me erase my blue lines real quick. We just need to solve this by adding our constant to both sides. So we're going to add 1,000. And then we're going to add 1,000 over here, so plus 1,000. What that does is allow us to cancel out the constant and see here that it had to increase 1,008 feet to be on the deck of that ship. So let's go find the letter. The equation we used here was letter R. And the answer was 1,008. So down here, here's 1,008. There's my letter R. All right, cool. Now we're up on number eight. So this was the one that had a strawberry to pie. And so if you have a pie, I'm just imagining a circle, and we're going to divide it into, there's your one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And one of these slices has 240 calories. So if one of these slices is 240 calories, we're going to multiply that by six. So over here on the equation, if you have a denominator of six, there's your multiply by six. That cancels out. And for this one, when you multiply, you're going to get 1,440 calories, 1,440 calories for this one. So the equation we used to solve it, x over 6 was two, equals 240. Let's see, where's x over 6 equals 240? Oh, there it is, letter N. So this one was letter N, and the solution was 1440. So there's my letter N. At this point, I think you guys can solve the rest of the equations. So for like example uh, number seven, here's the equation in red. To solve it, all you've got to do is add 20 to both sides. You're going to add your 20 here, so plus 20. Add your 20 here. And for this one, we can see that what that means is that negative 8 plus 20, that is six, uh, 12. That's 12. Now let's reset with this problem. What we're saying is between noon and midnight, the temperature dropped 20. So we just found out that it started at 12 degrees. If it then drops 20 degrees, we can check to see that at midnight, the temperature would in fact be negative 8. Okay? So the equation here that we used was x minus 20 equals negative 8. So we got to find that over here. Here's um, x minus 20 equals negative 8. So that was letter A. And for number 7, the answer was 12, 12 degrees. So we're going to fill in a letter A right there. Okay? All right, 
Okay, now we're on number six. If we have that these eight floodlights together used a thousand watts of power, we can just divide both sides by eight. And I'll bust out the calculator for this one to help you guys see. When you do your thousand divided by eight, you're going to get 125. So we get x equals 125 watts of power used by each floodlight. 125 watts of power used by each floodlight, or each bulb, yeah, each floodlight. So we have 125 is the answer. Let's go find the equation. It was the 8x equals 1,000, 8x equals 1,000. Okay, so that's letter B. For number 6, we have letter B. And the answer was 125. So down here, 125 is filled in with letter B. So at this point, I'm actually going to stop because I've done a lot of this worksheet with you. What you guys would still have in front of you would be to do question 5. You want to solve question 5. 4. Then you're going to solve question 3. You'll solve question 2. And then you'll solve question 1. And then you'll fill in below here and you'll have completed the puzzle. And that'll take care of page 16. And after that, you guys are going to move over here then to page 17 and 18, and you're going to work independently. Now, I'm going to explain real quick number one, and I'm going to explain how to show the work over here. So for number one, we have that Wilbur is thinking of a number. The sum of the number and 30 is 255. Find Wilbur's number. So the sum of Wilbur's number and 30 is 255. So if you take x and add it to 30, the sum would be 255. And you can find that equation over here. It's meant to help you um, have the skills of writing the equation. And we're going to start first by having these puzzle sheets to match the equation. But then it's up to you to solve. So notice here when we subtract the 30 from both sides, we get that Wilbur's number here must have been 225. Now to check, you've got your 225 Wilbur's number and add it to 30. And is the sum of Wilbur's number and 30 255? It is. So if 255 is our answer, we can go back and say that Wilbur's number must have been 225. Okay? So same thing kind of with the puzzle worksheet. Wilbur's number is 225. And the equation we used to solve it was letter N. So down below where you get your answer, Wilbur's number was 225. You're going to replace it there with the letter N. And that's how you're going to complete this puzzle worksheet. So your task now is to make sure that you finish up page 16. And then you're going to come over here and finish 17. And you're going to show your work all the way over here on page 18. And that concludes the video. Thank you.